Patrice here. I um I was thinking about a few things and I wanted to talk to you about them. Um I don't know if this is going to be like one video or I'm going to talk about two different things in one. But anyway, so I'll just like get right into it. This guy, he's a YouTuber. I cannot remember what his channel is called right now. But anyway, he anyway, he he did a video where he talked about um you be wary of the um people who when you decide to um step away from the person who's abusing you when you decide to like go low contact or no contact um with that person um so that you can heal and be okay um and just learn like unlearn what you've learned and you know be a healthier and better you um he was talking about how you'll have family members and friends who are well-meaning but um they will come to you to try to get you back in line and um he he said in the video he said well, we're not going to talk about those people in particular but we're going to talk about the ones who kind of play both sides um where they'll still be in relationship with the other person and they're in relationship with you and perhaps they could be telling each of you something different and you know all that and I was like <laughs> I um I so don't like the um like this whole this smile in your face all the time they want <laughs> like I don't like all that like I don't like that at all if you're gonna be a jerk I'd rather you be an outright jerk in my face because then I know what I'm dealing with and I can handle that but the whole uh, the other stuff seems so sinister but that um has stuck in my mind and so I've been thinking about that and then also I heard a quote that I don't even know where I read a lot of books and watch a lot of videos and you know all kinds of stuff and so sometimes I'm not sure where I'm getting information from or I don't remember where I got it from but certain things will stick with me and I I'm almost positive somebody said this came from one of those 12 step like AA or something but um I don't know but uh the saying is uh man what is the saying <laughs> It's something about you're you're only as sick as your secrets. I think that's it. You're only as sick as your secrets. And I was just like, hmm. And when I heard it, it was like, whoa, wow, you know? And um, but I can't say that I fully understand it. I'm gonna Google it and figure out where it's from exactly and what, you know, exactly they're talking about. But it made me think about um how um people will like be quiet and um and sometimes sometimes secrets are good secrets like you know obviously somebody's having a surprise party for somebody great that's a, a wonderful surprise but um there are secrets that are harmful too you know things that stay under the radar or not under the radar but just um undercover that are very detrimental and very harmful and I feel like that is um definitely has been the case for myself as well as like just in my um, family in general um and um and it's not a good thing and so that saying made me think of that and if you know anything about that saying you could tell me and all too because I don't know like I said but it was just something that I heard and it really struck me and stuck with me and um, again, it's it's um, you're only as sick as your secrets. I was just like, mm. so um, there's another I have my Chromebook right here. Another quote that I heard that um, struck with struck me even. OK, so the person that wrote it, his name is Ellie Weisel, and he's a Romanian born American Jewish writer, professor, political activist, Nobel laureate and Holocaust survivor. And what he said was always take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, never the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, never the tormented. And I was just like, whoa, like 
the part of me that's codependent that wants to take care of everybody and wants everybody to be okay, even when I'm not, says you can't expect people to take your side. You can't, you know, like you should just, I mean, yeah, okay. So <laughs> I can talk myself in circles with this stuff. So um, it's like, on one hand, I guess, like I said, that codependent part that just wants everybody to be OK and then I can be OK says, you know, well, no, leave them alone. Let them be, because a lot of people like to take this. Well, um, it's not my business. I want to stay out of it. I want to, you know, that whole thing, that whole line of thinking. And there's a place for that. But there is also a place, another part of me says there is a place for taking sides and there is a place for not not even so much taking sides, but standing up for what's freaking right, you know, and saying no to what's wrong and allowing people to um, have a better chance of owning their stuff when they mess up and when they do wrong because right is right and wrong is wrong. And so I've just been thinking about um, those things and I'm, I don't really, I can't say I have any expectations regarding like my family members with um, any of this, but it's just things that I've been thinking about and I'm just kind of like, wow, you know, this stuff is so deep. Um, and it's, it's like, you know, I'm upsetting the apple cart in so many profound ways. And, um, wow, it's just, it's just amazing. I have to stop using amazing when I actually mean something more like, I don't know, incredulous, like, or something, but cause if I say amazing, that has like a nice connotation and I don't mean that at all. But um, yeah, it's, it's all just very interesting. And I think about um, there's somebody else um, who who said they 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 are taking sides, so to speak. And again, it's not so much taking sides, but this person who said this actually did say that um, it wasn't about taking sides. It was just right is right and wrong is wrong. And they couldn't stand alongside an abuser, you know? So, um, I hope I'm not speaking in code. <laughs> I hate when people pretend to be, uh, vulnerable and share, but they're not sharing everything. So you're just kind of like, what are you talking about? But, um, I'm just trying hard to not, you know, I don't want to out people and, um, you know, so I'm um, trying to be respectful and all that. And uh, so, yeah, that's that's just something that I've been thinking about. And I wanted to um, throw that out there and see if anybody had anything to say about that. And um, it's because it's all it's very interesting because you're not when when it's family, especially like for me, it's my mother. And, and, and I'll say too, when I started to, now I knew all along that, um, like in my gut and all, because I'm, I had anxiety and, you know, just all kinds of stuff, but, um, I knew something was wrong. Right. But I didn't really pinpoint it and really take the time to look at anything until this past summer of um, 2018. And at the point that I started to really see things clearly, I was like, oh, like I'm not a fake person. So I had to take a step back. And what I did was I told my mother that I needed to have some time and space so that I could focus on healing from past um, wounds and all from childhood. And I shared with her um, some of what I um, shared in my second video, I think it was second or third video. I shared with her some of those things. And um, um, I just, I didn't say, you know, I hate you. I don't want to talk to you ever again. And you know, I don't do none of that. I just said I needed time and space so I can work on me because the fact is I just need to 
unlearn all these things because I'm not I'm not with being mistreated anymore. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm not. And but I have to unlearn all these patterns and traits and behaviors that I have carried for 42 years now. And um, that's going to take time. So um, with that, you know, I just need time and space. I can't be, you know, over here, you know, as doing everything as normal or as I did before and heal. It, it don't work, you know. So this is a part of me loving myself and doing what's best for me and um, seeking to heal because frankly, I'll be better for me. I'll be better for my children and I'll be better for my mother too, you know? So, um, and everybody else, because I see a lot in this journey. I see a lot of very dysfunctional, messed up stuff, you know, and I'm just not willing to participate anymore. And anybody who is not, um, wanting to um, support my decision to set these boundaries and do what I need to do for myself, then maybe I need to take a break from you too, you know? And it's sad and it's not fun. It's not easy at all, but I have to do this, you know? So um, I'll end this video there and go and record another one. I'm thinking that I might want to do maybe two videos a week. I've already recorded several videos um, that I'll be like uh, publishing in time. But I just want to thank you very much for hanging in here with me. If you haven't already and you want to keep up with what I'm talking about in my whole journey. Um, well, you don't have to like, but like it if you like the video, but um, definitely subscribe and hit the little bell for the um, so that you can get notified notified every time I do a new video because I am not. I send out a link to a lot of people. I'm not going to keep sending out links every time I do a new video because I feel like I'm bothering you and I don't want to bother anybody. If you are interested in keeping up, I feel like you'll keep up so um, you'll find a way. So again, thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.